Hey, what's up, Geek? So in this video, I'm just going to go over how you can actually add multiple images to your React Native project. Now, the standard image picker only allows you to add one image. Now, if you want to add more, you're going to have to use the package React Native Image Crop Picker. All right, and the installation for it is actually, it, it sucks. You know, um, first you want to do, you know, yarn install. I've already went through it. It took me a while, but you want to do yarn yarn add this or you want to do npm install and then just reference this uh within your project project and then you're also going to want to change your directory to um, ios and then run pod install so after you've done the yarn install or the, the yarn add installation or the uh, npm installation you're going to run you're going to want to run pod install all right now after you actually done that this is the setup so i'm going to go to the project and then just walk you guys through this all right so if you take a look at the application right now what i have is uh we have this button that we can click on right now if we click on this button it doesn't do anything all right so we already have the image picker installed to actually get this to work and also let me show you guys what I have on the, the view. So on the view, the way it's gonna work, I actually have another package in, it's called Carousel. What's gonna happen as I add those images, I'm going to swipe through those images so you guys can actually see how they look. And um, I have a render item function that has a that returns a component with the image. And um, yeah, I'm gonna pass that into the carousel. So it's gonna take every image and it's gonna pass it in there. And right now the carousel, you can't see it because new images is blank. So if I go to index.js, you can see new images is referencing our um, our images. And right now it's empty. So the length is less than, the length is not greater than zero. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and just start coding. So we're gonna say let our image list, it's gonna equal an empty array. And now I'm gonna get my image picker. I'm gonna say open picker. And then multiple, we're going to set it to true because we want to select multiple images. All right. Wait and made it end. Set this to false. Some of these I can't even remember what they do. I've actually took this code from one of my um, previous projects. And um, we're going to set include x if set it to true. Force JPEG. Set this to true. And if you check the documentation, they have other things. And basically, what Force J JPEG is doing is going to make sure that the image that you select, if you were to export it or do anything with that image, it will be in a JPEG format. Compress. Quality, compressed image quality. The maximum amount of files that we're going to have is going to be 10. Media type, we're going to take any. Include base 64. Set this to true. All right. Now after we actually already done this part, right? We're going to go ahead and I'm not going to stop right there. I'm going to, and this actually has two of these. We don't need two of these. So, all right, cool. Make sure my image. Okay, there it goes, the dot then. So now we're going to add our dot then, right? And we're going to say this is going to be our response. We're going to response because it's going to be well. First, let's console log response. Let's see what we're getting. And 
And also, before I even do the response console log, that make sure when you guys actually add this, I kept getting the error, and I couldn't, I didn't understand why I was getting it. So I'm actually using the re most recent build of uh, Xcode for this date, so you guys can check out the date if you watch this later. But you need to add this into your key to even use the uh, the image picker. You have to use the NS Photo Library Usage Description. Set that as a key, and then set the uh, the string to whatever. I say using library for tutorial. So, anyways, um, in case you guys are following along, you got some kind of error. So I'm gonna I'm going to use my debugger. It lets me debug. It's always something. So it turns out I just forgot to uh, start the uh, the server. So anyways, um, in a project, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press this button, add an image, add a few. Cool. And now we can see what we're getting back from the response. Now the response, we have a... Uh, we're getting a collection of things. We have our data, we have the image file name, the path, etc. So we want to go ahead and pass all this data into an array. So I'm going to say response dot map image. I'm going to grab my image list dot push. That's my file name. So image dot file name. Next path. I'm gonna reference image dot path. And data. We're gonna reference image dot data. And dot data. That's what gives you the image in base sixty four. All right. I had to do this for a, um, a company I was working for. And also you have that a catch. We can add another catch right here. Catch, error, console log, error. Okay, there we go. All right, so now, just to give you guys a good idea, a good feel for how things are gonna look. If you wanna use this carousel, well, let me show you guys how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Our images are passing back. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually set it. Oh, my bad. So yeah, after we do our dot then, we're passing, getting all of our images. And then I'm going to set this into the set image. On my set images function. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and just pass in my image list. I wanna make sure. Okay, everything looks good. Cool. Now, let's add some images. All right. And as you can see, all those images were passed in. And I used my swiper. And now I can see every single image that I added. All right. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.